my name is Alistair Lee. In this video, we're going to take a look at the screen sharing palette introduced in Adobe Connect 9.3. I've got my Adobe Connect room open on the screen here, and I'm going to start by choosing the Share My Screen button. This actually opens up a new screen sharing preview. I can go from desktop to applications to Windows. These are the same options we had in previous versions of Adobe Connect. But previously, it was just a list of the titles. And now I've got a live preview of exactly what I'm going to share. This gives me the ability to click one or more of the different documents that I'm interested in sharing. I'll go ahead and click this Word document and select the Share button. And you'll notice there is a brand new screen sharing palette that's appearing by default in the bottom right hand corner of my screen. And I say by default because I can move this around wherever I'd like on the screen. This screen sharing palette is actually showing me a lot about my meeting. It's enabling me to retain the interactivity I've got in my meeting. So this first window in the palette shows me exactly what I'm sharing. This means I don't need a second monitor. I don't have to ask, can you see my screen? I know my customers are seeing my screen at this point. I can also have full control over the webcam. I've got my webcam paused here because I'm using it for this video, but you can see I can stop my webcam. I can see other people who might be using the webcam. So just because I'm screen sharing doesn't mean I can't see the video that's happening inside of my Adobe Connect meeting room now. I've also got full access to the audio inside of the Adobe Connect meeting, whether that's muting the microphone or changing the volume of the meeting. I can do that all from this screen sharing palette without leaving the screen sharing experience. Not only do I have access to the audio, but I've also got access to the participants within my meeting. I've got the full attendees list. And you'll notice that this isn't just a read-only experience. I can, for example, decide to promote Conrad, in this case, to a participant. I can hover over Conrad's name, make him a host, or start a private chat with him, even request a screen share. I've also got full access to the chat. So if Conrad, in this case, has sent me a chat message, I can see that appear right inside of my screen sharing palette. I don't have to go back to the meeting room, and I can even respond to Conrad. And this not only works with public chat, but private chat messages will appear here as well. Any notifications will automatically appear right here in the palette. So for example, I can see that Irene is now trying to join my meeting. I'm given a notification, and I can see that there's one notification waiting for me. I can actually act on that notification without leaving the screen sharing experience. If I would prefer to use a second monitor, or if I prefer the old way of doing a preview of my Adobe Connect screen share, I can do that. I can go back to the Adobe Connect room at any time by clicking this Restore Meeting Room arrow button on the top right hand corner of that screen sharing palette. I'm still sharing my screen at this point. If I want to go back to the palette, I can click that button again. Or if I want to go back to the old way of previewing what I'm sharing, I can click on the pod options menu and select preview screen. That's a quick look at the new screen sharing palette that's new to Adobe Connect 9.3. Thanks for your time.